Hi, thanks for showing an interest in laying your boat up here at Hailing Island Sailing Club. The purpose of this presentation is just to give you an idea of what laying your boat up at Hailing Island Sailing Club would look like, some of the things that you would need to do and what you can expect. We do a winter layup service here at Hailing Island Sailing Club. We pull your boat out of the water, we store it here at the sailing club on private land through the winter and then we put the boat back in the water for you in the spring. We can offer an unattended recovery service where we pull the boat out without you present. If you would like to attend your recovery, that is also something that can be offered. Once we've pulled the boat out and it's been put down in the car park, we, we will spray the boat off. So remove any anti-fouling or general fouling from the bottom of the boat. And then we'll store the boat here through the winter where it will be regularly checked by our marine department. So you can rest assured that your boat is safe. The winter layup period generally runs from middle to late October through to kind of early mid-March. So we'll most likely be looking to pull your boat out middle of October and we'll be aiming to put you back in the water as late as March impossible without interacting with the Easter holidays. The winter layup dates are always approved by the cruising committee so you can rest assured that the launch recovery dates are always done with cruisers' interests at heart. The way it works is we will create a schedule of when we will either pull your boat out or we will put your boat in. The schedule isn't, is not flexible so we control when your boat goes in and out of the water. It's up to you as the member to make sure that your boat is ready or if you're attending your launch or recovery to make sure that you are here on the day that the boat will either go in or out of the water. Prior to either layup or launch, there are some things that you will need to do. So you'll either need to make sure your boat is ready to come out of the water or ready to go in. Prior to the layup, that will mean making sure that your head sail has been removed, that we've got access to any keys or any steering equipment that we'll need to have. And then again, before you go in, you'll need to make sure your boat is fully seaworthy to float and that it's safe to launch the boat you'll need to sign a launch declaration taking full responsibility for the boat at the time of launch if you're not physically attending the launch. However, we can launch the boat without you. That's absolutely not a problem. If you're interested in the Winter Lair at Hisk, all you need to do is let us know, get hold of one of our office team, um, and that will put you on a, a list of interest. And then to confirm your place, you s read and sign a agreement for the Winter Lair up. Regarding charges for the layup, we generally charge through direct debit. So you'll be paying for your winter layup from, from January through to December. So, for example, if you laid up in the year 2022 to 2023, so October 2022 to March 2023, you'll be paying for that from January 2022 till December 2023. It is possible to pay for your layup all in one go, which is something we can facilitate. You may find if you are non-compliant with elements of the agreement that there are extra charges which could be added to your total bill. So, for example, if you do not remove your head sail prior to launch, we may pull the boat out and remove it and there'll be an extra charge to you for that extra service. There are some things you will need to do before the winter layup and an important one is it's up to the member to make sure that a suitable cradle and any props are supplied. You will need to make sure that these props are suitably maintained and that they are the right fit for your boat. If you don't have a cradle or props, we can recommend some providers. Um, the Yacht Cradle and Leg Company is a good provider of uh, cradle equipment. So check those guys out. You can go on their websites. We do have a very limited amount of cradle storage on site if you wish to store your yacht cradle here when it's not being used. If that's something you're interested in, you need to talk to us because cradles need to be of a certain specification to fit into our yard. Before we come to use them, it is up to the member to make sure the cradle and props are serviced and ready for, for use. So that means making sure that all of the correct pins are there, that all of the moving parts have been lubricated so they can be safely used 
um, and that generally the cradle is in a suitable working condition so that the marine department can get your boat in it safely and quickly. An important element of health and safety is before any recovery, head sails must be removed and heads and main sails should be removed from the boat prior to recovery. This is because if there is strong winds, once the boat has been lifted out and the head sail unfurls, there is a risk, a very real risk of the boat falling over and doing serious damage either to, to your boat and maybe to others as well. So that is important. And there is a, uh, a cost to the member if the he head sail is not removed and our staff then have to go on and remove the boat for you. Your boat should be prepared for us to be able to recover it. That means making sure we have access to all the steering equipment that we're going to require to get the boat into the hoist. And generally boats that we have lifted before, we have documentation on all of those. So we have pictures, so we know what they look like. They also have uh, lifting point stickers, which we generally fit to the side of all the boats that we lift. If we haven't lifted your boat before, it may well already have these stickers from another yard, but it's something that you may want to check, or if it doesn't have them, we might want to provide us with information as to any important parts of your boat under the waterline, which the team need to know about. As ever, if you have any questions or any issues, all you need to do is talk to us and let us know. We are absolutely dedicated to providing a great service to all of the winter layup members who are bringing their boats out here. On the day, quite often, the Marine Department start lifting boats very early. There's quite a lot of preparation that goes into getting the sailing club ready to pull boats out of the water. So this means making sure that all the dinghies have been removed so they're not in the way of the tractor and the hoist. It means laying the beach mats down on the beach so that the tractor can climb up the very soft sand and up into the car park. The Marine team will send a boat out to collect your boat if you're not attending your launch and the, the rib will then be tied alongside the yacht and that will be used to provide power whilst the yacht is steered into the hoist. If you choose to attend your launch it is possible to drive the boat, your yacht or, or power boat, directly into the hoist without the rib alongside but we've found that this system works very well um, and we've been able to lift hundreds of boats in this way um, without incident. So we'll lift the boat up once the boat's in the hoist the tractor will be in the water, as you can see in this photo, the boat will be lifted. Any problems, then we'll put the boat back in and reset. We've got experienced and professional uh, plant operators who've been doing this for a long time, so they know they know what to do. Once we've got the boat safely in the hoist, the boat will be lifted. The tractor will drive up the beach and round to our car park, where the boat will be set down in the cradle that you have provided. One of the marine department, if you've paid for the uh, combined package, will then give the boat the jet wash so that all of the fouling is removed from the bottom of the boat. And then once she's there in her cradle, she'll receive a regular check just to make sure that the cradle's safe. And we generally try and target to do this once a week and also after any particularly strong winds or bad weather. So just to confirm that the boat will be lifted by a, a trailer hoist towed by a tractor you know, the marine team are very happy to tow the boat into the hoist where it will be lifted. The boat will be lifted and transported. And then once the boat is in the uh, car park where it will be for the winter, the boat will be sprayed down and then she's good to go for the winter months. During the winter, there is 24 access for all of our members through our security gate and straight into the car park. So as long as you've got your number plate in the ANPR system, you can get access to your boat at any time. You can't sleep on the boat. That is an important note. However, you can get access to it whenever you want to do work. There are some rules of certain types of work that you can't do, for example, no sandblasting. And generally, if you're undertaking work that has risk involved, we do ask that you talk to the marine team because potentially an extra risk assessment might be required at certain times. If you have contractors who are coming to work on your boat, this is something which will facilitate as well. All we ask is that they sign into the contractor book. And again, if there's any specific work, which is high risk, they might need to just provide a method statement or a risk assessment to our marine department to make sure that what they're doing is safe. Other than that, Hailing Island Sailing Club is a great place to store your boat. The Sailing Club has everything you need under one roof. 
we have a bar, we've got a restaurant, there's accommodation. It's a great venue to have your boat parked for the winter so you can do the maintenance that you need to do to it and then come and relax and enjoy your weekend time. All the while you can rest assured that your boat is safe, being regularly checked by the marine department and generally the boats are nice and sheltered in our car park here at Hailing Island Sailing Club. I hope that you guys have found this presentation useful. We really hope that you come and lay your boat up here at Hisk. We've got a good track record of pulling boats in, pulling boats out and putting boats in. And we'd love to have you as one of our customers here this winter.